Well, when we talk about cyber, one of the items that's at the forefront of a lot of people's minds is supply chain management mm -hmm. with a number of tools and relationships that we have with different companies. So we've talked about from the relationship side for different vendors that we rely on, but then also from the software aspect of different like Log4j, uh, SolarWinds, different tools that we rely on software. And a recent hack of a uh, healthcare payer really brought the, the point about the relationships to the surface. Mm. Uh, no one expected the impacts that happened to the healthcare sector when this one uh, healthcare payer was impacted by ransomware. Mm. The estimates that I saw rated it at a million dollars a day of, of wow. losses, and then the overall uh, losses were in the billions, literally. And that's the financial side, right? It's also healthcare. It's so you healthcare. have patients' lives yeah. that were impacted. There were hundreds of, of millions of patients impacted by this. Think about the nation's healthcare sector and a third of it being impacted by this one vendor. Yeah. So I think understanding the vendors that you rely on is critical, and I think this brings that to light, and also the risk that they may be introducing into your processes that you may not be aware of. That sounds like very like needing a very strong supply chain management relationship plan, yes. like how you manage relationships and how you track them. Yep. But on the software side, that seems like an even harder problem. Oh, I mean, we have code that has from multiple different places, like how do we dissect that code and be able to trace that back to right. one vendor or one person? So, software vendors, they want to go to market as, as fast as possible, so they grab pieces and parts that are available from, mm -hmm. from many sources. Many of them are open sources, and so it's really hard to manage, and then you end up with these invisible vulnerabilities within your system mm -hmm. that you're not even aware of. Luckily, uh, modern uh, software development practices really emphasize the need to account for this. And so they do things like SBOM. So you have a full inventory of your software and you're able to bring these things to the surface and manage it the way it needs to be. It sounds like the importance is that we plan for it though. Yes. It's not an afterthought Absolutely. here. Absolutely.